Our today's video is about electric potential, potential difference, electric potential due to a point charge and electric potential due to electric dipole. First we will explain electric potential and potential difference. Then we will derive the relations for electric potential due to a point charge and electric potential due to an electric dipole. Electric potential Electric potential is the potential energy per unit charge or we can say the potential energy per unit charge at a point in an electric field is called electric potential V or simply potential. The electric potential is denoted by V which is equal to potential energy divided by charge Q or in term of work minus work divided by Q. For example, this is a source charge because of this charge here is an electric field and this is a test charge. The test charge is initially at infinity at this infinite position. When we move this test charge from this initial position to the final position, we do work against the electric field of this source charge and that work done is stored in this charge as a potential energy where the potential energy U is equal to minus W infinity. This infinity mean that the initial position as a or the reference point is from the infinity. The electric potential is a scalar quantity and its unit is energy divided by charge. U potential is energy divided by charge equal to joule per coulomb and is equal to volt. So the unit of electric potential is volt. Now what is potential difference? The potential difference between any two points I initial point and F the final position in an electric field is equal to the difference in potential energy per unit charge between the two points. Now when we were dealing with the potential and potential we consider this initial position as infinity but in potential difference this point is not considered as infinite it is considered as a finite point. So the potential at this point is Vi and the potential at this point is Vf. So the potential difference between these two points will be equal to del V is equal to Vf minus Vi is equal to change in potential energy divided by charge Q or Uf by Q minus Ui by Q is equal to del U change in potential energy divided by charge Q or in term of work the negative work done per unit charge. So the potential difference del V is equal to minus W by Q where the potential was W infinity by Q. Now electric potential due to a point charge. Let's consider this as a source charge and this is the initial position of the test charge where this is the final position of the test charge. Let's suppose the initial position of this test charge I is equal to infinity. When we move this test charge, apply force to this test charge and do some work on this test charge against the electric field of this source charge, then the work done on this test charge will be equal to W is equal to I to F integral F dot dr. We know that the coulomb force of attraction or repulsion between two charges is equal to F is equal to Q naught E where this Q naught is this test charge and we know that the electric field E is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square R unit vector and this Q is the source charge. Now putting the value for F in this equation we will get work done is equal to I to F Q naught E dot dr. The Q naught is constant so we can write it as Q naught I to F E dot dr. 
Now multiplying minus sign to both the sides of the equation, we will get minus W by Q naught is equal to minus I to F E dot dr. Now we know that the minus W by Q naught is the potential difference del V. So del V is equal to Vf minus Vi is equal to minus I to F E dot dr. Now putting the value for electric field E in this equation, we will get potential difference del V is equal to minus R to infinity 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square dr. Now the limits are from R to infinity. R is the distance between the final position of the test charge and the source charge where infinity is the distance between the initial position of the test charge and source charge. Now solving this term, the potential difference Vf minus Vi will be equal to minus Q by 4 pi epsilon naught. This whole term is constant, limits R to infinity and this 1 over R square can be written as R power minus 2 into dr. Now taking the integral of this term, we will get minus q by 4 pi epsilon naught into minus 1 over r and limits r from r to infinity. Now this minus and this minus will become plus and we will have q by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 over r limits r to infinity. Putting the limits for this r and solving we will get Q by 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 over infinity minus 1 over r. And here this Vf will be equal to 0 because when the initial position of the test charge is infinite then r is infinite and electric field is 0. When electric field is 0 the potential at that infinite position is equal to 0. So 0 minus Vi is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 over infinity minus 1 over R. Now 1 over infinity is equal to 0. Putting the value for this and further simplifying, finally we will get minus Vi is equal to minus Q by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 over R. Now this minus will cancel out with this minus and we will have Vi as final potential at this point equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R. And this V represent the potential V due to a charge Q at any distance R from Q. Now this V is the potential at this point. This R is the distance between this test charge and the source charge at its final position and 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught and q are constants. Now electric potential due to an electric dipole. Electric dipole is a pair of two but opposite charges. One plus q, the second one is minus q and this plus q and minus q have same magnitude. Now the electric potential at this point P due to this plus Q and minus Q will be equal to the, the sum of the electric potential due to this Q plus and due to this minus Q. So V is equal to V plus and plus V minus. Now the V plus the potential the electric potential due to this positive charge is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q divided by R plus this r plus the distance between this point p and this plus q. Now the electric potential due to this negative charge, this minus charge at this point will be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught minus q divided by r minus. r minus is this distance from here to here. Now putting the values for v plus and v minus in this equation and solving we will get v is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q by r plus minus 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q by r minus. Now here this q this 4 pi epsilon naught is constant taking q by 4 pi epsilon naught common from this equation we will get 
v is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 over r plus minus 1 over r minus. Now taking the LCM of this term, we will get potential v is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon naught r plus r minus and r minus minus r plus. Now consider this geometry. In this geometry, here you draw a line perpendicular to this line. Now from this geometry, we can conclude that this distance from here to here is equal to r minus minus r plus. This is r minus this line minus this r plus. So we will get the distance from here this point to this point and this is r minus minus r plus now consider this triangle this triangle just rotate it for simplicity and understanding this is theta this is base this is perpendicular and this is hypotenuse now from this triangle we know that the projection of d along this is equal to r minus minus r plus so we can write it as r minus minus r plus is equal to d cos of theta and this r plus and r minus is nearly equal to r square or we consider as r plus is equal to r minus which is equal to r into r is equal to r square now substituting the values for r minus minus r plus divided by r plus r minus we will get q by 4 pi epsilon naught d cos of theta divided by r square. Now we can write this equation as v is equal to q d cos of theta v is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught q d cos theta divided by r square and this q d is the magnitude of dipole moment so the potential at point p due to the dipole this plus q and minus q is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught p cos of theta divided by r square thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and comment your questions thank you